Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my current favorites and I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm very excited. If you're new, I would love if you would consider subscribing. I do lots of beauty content on this channel. We're going to go ahead and get into the video. My very first favorite is actually jewelry. I have some new pieces from the brand Linear. Please excuse me if my pronunciation is not perfect. They're actually working with me and sponsoring a portion of today's video, which is so exciting. This jewelry is truly beautiful. I feel like I've talked about it on here before how important quality jewelry is to me because it's something that in the last few years I've really made a point to invest in quality jewelry that lasts. I don't want my pieces to tarnish quickly and I'm a gold jewelry girl for the most part and that can get kind of expensive so I do really like to have my staple classic pieces and Lanier has so many beautiful classic simple elegant pieces and their prices are really good for the quality of jewelry that you get which I'm going to go into in a minute but I want to show you guys the pieces that I picked out. So the first one that I might be the most excited about because I've never had something like this before is this tennis bracelet. It's kind of hard to see on camera this far away so I'm going to put in close-up shots for you guys but I've always wanted one of these because I just think it's such a classic elegant jewelry piece. These are made with cubic zirconia, but the gold part of the jewelry is gold vermeil. Apologies if my pronunciation on that isn't perfect either, but if you didn't know, gold vermeil is basically where they use a sterling silver base for your jewelry, so like the highest quality. And then Lanier uses a 22 karat gold that is five times thicker than the traditional gold plated jewelry which is super high quality. And you guys know how I feel about taking my jewelry off. I love to leave my jewelry on like all the time, whether I'm showering or sleeping. And then the other pieces that I have from them are this ring. This is one of their baguette rings as they're called in Trina. And it's just this very simple twisted gold band with a little rectangular diamond in the middle. And I think it's so simple and pretty and i'm getting more into like the diamond look and then also these little huggy gold earrings they're still very dainty but they're a little bit chunkier than the gold ring or something which i really like they're the perfect size for me for an everyday hoop i like how they're a little bit smaller so they're very easy to sleep in and they don't like hurt your ears or anything. They do have solid gold pieces as well which are going to last like forever but i think most of the time the gold vermeil is the way to go because as we know solid gold is very pricey they also use recycled gold and silver and sustainable packaging which i love all of that when i got this jewelry it was in the smallest cute little box i wish i had it to show you guys but just very simple nothing too overly big so i really appreciate that and the jewelry pieces also come in these really cute little kind of velvety pouches that say the brand on them linear and then you get a little card with the jewelry care info and basically some things about the brand so i have really been loving these i hope the close-up shots will do these pieces justice well, they have so many other options guys so many pieces on their website which will be linked down below they have their mother's day sale going on right now i will put the code on the screen for you guys and in the description box during linear's mother's day sale you can get 25 percent off using my code tabitha25 so you can check that out as well i'm gonna have all the information that you guys need in the description box and i really love that the pieces i got and honestly like most of their pieces you can really style with so many different things. They're so versatile and simple. I also had a really good experience working with this brand. They've been so kind and accommodating and very easy to work with, which I always appreciate so much. So I had to shout them out for that, but we can go ahead and get into the rest of the favorites. I'm not even sure where to start with the rest of these, but I'm gonna keep it random and start with some favorites that I have from Amazon. These are actually both hair things, and I have some other hair products to share here too. Some of them I have mentioned recently a few times, but I feel like I've got a good amount of hair care. First thing, I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen because I don't have it here with me. They're in my bathroom, and it's a lot of pieces to 
try to show you guys. It's Velcro rollers. I picked up a set from Amazon and I've done some shorts with them and stuff a little while ago, so you guys have probably seen, but I really love when I want bouncy curls using rollers. I didn't use them for this style because I just wanted something a little more simple and straighter, but if I want big bouncy curls, which is honestly one of my favorite heat solid looks, I love using rollers with my, like after my curling iron. And like I said, I have some videos on it. I shared about it in a vlog recently. So you can check that out if you're interested, but it just gives the most voluminous hair. I feel like the Velcro even helps a little bit and adding hairspray in before you take them out makes a difference too. Truly beautiful on everyone. I feel like anyone can pull that kind of 90s blowout look off. And then the other thing I got from Amazon, kind of like a random package, but this is hair ties, a ton of hair ties. I'm gonna link the exact ones that I have so you guys can find them, but they're a little bit thicker than the ones you would traditionally get. They're very sturdy, but they're also stretchy and they don't feel as much like a tight rubber band that will like make a mark in your hair. They're more enjoyable to use. They're smoother. I just love these so much more than regular hair ties and you get so many in a pack of these for a really affordable price. I don't know why it took me so long to hop on Amazon and get some, but they have all different colors depending on what your hair color is. So I usually go for a black because my hair is dark, but honestly, I just dyed it so it's extra dark right now. I didn't mean for it to be this like black. I feel like every time I dye it, it ends up looking really dark at least for the first few months. And I'm not sure what hair dye I need to find that stays a long time but is also just like a dark brown anyways that's a random little side note i have one skincare product that i really use more as a makeup base than anything else i'm very excited about this like for some reason this really made me happy when i discovered it pacifica sent me a pr package with their future youth line and the serum was the most intriguing to me so i tried this out a few times and discovered that it works so, so well under makeup because it's thin and lightweight, but it's the perfect amount of tacky that makes your makeup adhere to it, but you're still hydrated. This is what I've been looking for for so long for a makeup base because I'm not really into the grippy primers that are super, super tacky. I feel like they can be a little bit drying and they're almost too sticky, but this is that perfect amount. And I feel like a lot of people have talked about different serums and skincare products like this that they use as a base for their makeup, but they're always so expensive. Like I've heard a lot of people talk about different ones that are really good, but they're most of the time from Sephora and they're usually very, very expensive skincare products. When it's just a base for makeup, I don't wanna spend $50 on a serum. So I love that I found one that's affordable from Pacifica. You can get this brand at Target and it literally does exactly what I want a makeup base skincare product to do. So very excited about this and I'm probably gonna purchase it when I run out because it's like my perfect makeup base. I have a couple of like fragrance products. So first let's talk about my current perfume obsession. This is Bianca Latte from Giardini di Toscana, which is like a niche kind of fragrance brand. But the price on this isn't insane compared to a lot of niche brands. I feel like this is pretty much what designer perfumes are priced at nowadays. So I don't really feel too bad recommending it, but this is definitely more of a winter scent and we're starting to go into warmer months. So I'm really trying to get all the wear out of this that I can right now. I might also even wear it on cooler summer nights because I'm that obsessed with it and I just wanna wear it all the time. It's a vanilla, like a very sweet, milky, creamy, <laughs> vanilla caramel perfume. And it kind of reminds me of like a vanilla cake or something, but it's a little elevated. It's more than just like a Bath and Body Works vanilla. This is like an expensive vanilla. The thing that really makes this special is the performance, the longevity and projection is really good on this perfume and it is viral for a reason. I'm sure if you've watched any type of perfume content, you've seen this talked about because it's super popular, but I couldn't not mention it. It's just so good. And I will say there's like coumarin in here some people pick that up in a way that bothers them to me it's just there kind of in the opening and when you first spray it once it dries down it goes away but everybody's different so keep that in mind it does kind of tickle the back of my throat a little bit it's almost a little spicy like i said 
but it doesn't bother me. I think it makes the perfume a little bit unique. Just something I wanted to mention because it's something that bothers some people, but I just don't think it's there very strongly and it doesn't really bother me. So this is my current favorite perfume, but going into the summertime, this is more of a warm weather fragrance. So this is actually a hair and body perfume. This is from Rizzo's Curls. You guys know I've mentioned them so many times on my channel when I talk about curly hair products. I love Rizzo's Curls so much. And I've talked about the scent of their products for so long. So when they told me they had a hair perfume, I was so excited. They sent it over and I made a dent in this right when I got it because I sprayed it even though it was like winter time. But I'm gonna be wearing this a lot more going into summer because it is a little bit more of a summer kind of scent. It's very feminine and girly and it does kind of smell like a really good smelling hair product obviously it's the scent of their hair products but the perfume has a little bit more of a coconutty touch to it and it's fruity and light it's just perfect for summertime like the it girl summer scent i know it's a curly hair brand but it doesn't matter if you have curly hair or not this is just a good hair and body perfume you can spray it anywhere on anything and it smells amazing. You're sure to get compliments on this because it's just that likable girly scent. I literally can't stop sniffing it. Highly recommend this if you haven't checked it out yet. And if you already love Rizzo's curls and the scent of their products, then you're welcome. Let's just finish off the other hair products. First, we have an oil. You guys know how I feel about hair oils. Whether I'm styling my hair natural or heat styling, I just love a good oil to smooth over my hair. I feel like it makes a big difference for me. This is my recent favorite. It's from Innersense, which is a very natural hair care brand. So if you're really mindful of like organic, healthy ingredients in your products, this is the brand to go for. Because of that, they're a little bit more pricey, but I definitely think they're worth it. It's their glossing serum and it's called I Create Shine, which they have all of their products named like I Create Waves or I Create Hold or I Create Shine. It's kind of like a little pun they do. But anyways, this is more of a true oil than like a dry oil, but it doesn't weigh my hair down or feel super heavy. It's very thin and a lot lighter. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it's a thinner oil and it gives the hair that classic shine to it. Kind of reminds me actually of the JVN oil. I can't remember the exact name of that one, but you guys know I really like that one. This one is kind of similar, but I might like it a little bit more even. So I've really been loving this oil, especially for my natural hair. I'll use it whether I'm heat styling or not, but I do really like it for my natural waves because I feel like it just gives the perfect amount of moisture. And then two products that I mentioned in my last video. So I'll go over these quickly. I did like a whole TikTok viral hair care or just viral hair care in general video and I talked about these two. This first one especially, this is a lot more viral than the other product. It's the Lush Super Milk Leave-In Conditioner and the reason this is so popular honestly is because of the smell. It smells like sweet, warm, kind of like a spiced lemon cake has a little bit of a lemony hint to it, but it's more like a spicy, warm vanilla and it smells so freaking good. It lasts in your hair longer than pretty much any other product I've had. And it's a great lightweight texture for a leave-in. If you're looking for something to compare it to and you watch my other videos, the Rizzo's Curls Refresh and Detangle Spray is pretty much the same texture as this. I actually find these products to be very similar to each other, but this is just a different scent obviously, and it lasts a lot longer in your hair. And I definitely think it's worth checking out if it's something you've had your eye on because it smells truly incredible. Like I said, if you wanna see more of my thoughts, you can check out that video, but the other product is this dry shampoo mist. It's like a non-aerosol wet dry shampoo. Very interesting product, and do keep in mind that it dampens your hair a little bit at the roots if you have really curly hair because if you heat style it, it will kind of reactivate your curls, but you can totally go over your hair with a straightener or like someone mentioned in my last video, you could just hit your roots with a blow dryer. The best part about this stuff is how it leaves no white cast. I used it in my hair today. It doesn't leave a white cast because it's a mist and it dries within a few minutes and then you just brush your hair out or shake out your roots. It's incredible. It gives me the perfect amount of volume, makes my hair look and feel clean. It doesn't leave like a residue the way other dry shampoos do so i really think this dethroned my living proof dry shampoo i know it's crazy but the prices are 
pretty much the same so it's not like a huge choice there and they're both a little pricier they're not drugstore brands but i totally think this is worth it if you're looking for a non-aerosol dry shampoo i even put my sister onto this because she hates dry shampoos that leave a white cast i used it like one time on her hair and she bought it so if that doesn't say something i don't know what does okay I feel like I've been talking for a long time. We're gonna finish off with some makeup. I have like three lip products to talk about. So I'm just gonna go over them quickly. You guys know how I feel about the Lawless Forget the Filler line. They recently sent me almost all the shades in the Forget the Filler gloss. This one is Rosy Outlook, so it's the pretty much clear shade, and it looks so beautiful on the lips. I'm actually wearing the shade Velvet on my lips right now, so not this one, but it's more of like a nudie kind of shade, and they're just so smooth and pretty and they last on the lips they're kind of a similar texture to the fenty gloss bombs so i feel like they stick around but they have a lot of really great shades in these and a lot of them are opaque not shimmer which i really like and they have that very slight plumping effect but it's nothing crazy i feel like more than anything it just kind of fills in the lines of your lips because it smooths them out slightly and it has a little bit of a cooling minty feeling but it doesn't tingle or burn it's just kind of cooling on the lips which i actually really like the feeling of that so i love these so much and then i have a lip oil this one is also pretty much clear even though it looks like a bright pink it's the milk kush lip oil in the shade pink magic but they have other shades too i just love the formula of this it's the perfect lightweight lip oil it feels very thin and hydrating on the lips this one smells really good kind of like a sweet candy scent honestly been my go-to when i just want to throw something on my lips no liner or anything i just want them to look kind of juicy but feel hydrated this is my go-to i've been using this even in place of like lip balm or something because it's just so easy and light and then lastly, this is my favorite when I want a good amount of color, but I just want a thin layer of something. I kind of want it to be glossy. The Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. This is the mini travel size, and I feel like it's worth it if you haven't tried these before because it's like $13 for this travel size. This is in the shade Rose. Just the most beautiful, like, nudie, pinky shade and it's kind of sheer it's not too opaque but it still gives you a good amount of color it's thin and lightweight so it doesn't have any kind of tacky feel to it and it makes your lips look like glass truly it's so beautiful i've been using this every single time that i go out like in the evening or even during the day and i want to wear like a nice lip product with liner this is my go-to and it just looks so good something about this makes my lips look better than they actually are if that makes sense so those are my current favorite lip products for the last while lastly is something that i literally pretty much just got so it's kind of cheating this is new but so far i love it so much and i talked about it recently in a vlog i think that i wanted to pick this up it's the rare beauty flexible lifting brow gel so this is the new brow gel that they came out with and it's just a clear brow gel but it has such good Hold. I love the brush on this. It's the perfect size. It's not gloopy like the NYX brow glue. I've mentioned that before that I've been using that when I want a stronger hold brow gel, but that is so glue-like, so you have to be very careful with how you apply it. And I actually feel like this holds even better than that one. And it's not super pricey for a high-end brand. A lot of the Rare Beauty stuff is more on the lower end, which I really appreciate because it feels like things at Sephora are so overpriced nowadays. But if you're looking for a good, clear, strong hold brow gel that doesn't make your brows like gloopy or super sticky or feel weird, I've been loving this. Like I said, it's very new to me, but I just, I couldn't wait. It's also really well loved by a lot of people. So I'm not really worried about recommending it. This is very, like highly talked about product so that's actually it for my favorites i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much again to lanier for collaborating with me on this video i'm so excited about my pieces don't forget to check out the description box and also i'll have a pinned comment i've been doing that in a lot of my recent videos i'd love if you would consider subscribing though if you haven't and hopefully i'll see you guys back here next time bye